Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. If you have a Windows 11 PC, you've probably noticed that you receive more notifications than you receive from earlier versions of Windows. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, because important notifications really do need to be seen and dealt with in a timely manner. But getting a steady stream of unimportant notifications while you're trying to work, listen to music, or watch videos can be a real pain. Luckily, Microsoft provides a number of settings you can tweak to limit the types of notifications you receive and control how and when you actually receive them. I'm going to show how to access these important notification settings so you can tweak them to make your Windows experience more productive and less irritating. Here I have the notifications uh, settings on the screen, but I'm going to go ahead and close it and show you how to open it. It's really easy. Just go down here to the time and date display right click on the date or time and click notification settings and there they are <clears throat> at the top you'll see one one global setting called just called notifications if you turn this off that will disable all notifications period you won't receive any now I don't really recommend that at all because like I said before some notifications really need to be seen and dealt with pretty quickly so I'm going to uh, recommend that you leave that on now if you click on notifications, you have a couple of you have two or three options here. You can allow notifications to play sounds. Um, I you generally keep that turned off because I don't need to hear a beep every time a notification comes in. Show notifications on the lock screen. I generally keep that turned off too because uh, I don't want just anyone walking past my PC while the screen's on the while the PC's on the lock screen and seeing my notifications. And I don't even use uh, voice over IP, so I'm going to turn that off. You can set these three to however you want them to set. Now this Do Not Disturb, that will, uh, you'll still get your notifications if you enable Do Not Disturb, but they won't pop up on the screen. Instead, they'll be sent directly to the Notification Center, which is right down here. And you'll see that I have four notifications waiting and whenever I get ready to, to read them, I'll just click that number four. Now, if there are times that you might want to have Do Not Disturb enabled, like say you're in a, you're in a class and you don't want notifications to interrupt into class, or um, you're at work and you don't want to be disturbed by notifications, you can click Turn, turn On Do Not Disturb Automatically, and you can set a, a time period when Do Not Disturb will automatically turn on and turn off. And you can also uh, tell it when you want it to happen. You can set priority notifications. These are notifications that are so important that you want to see them even when you're in Do Not Disturb mode. And finally, we come down here, uh, notifications from apps and other senders. There are some things that send you notifications that you don't really need to receive at all. Um, you can, I'm not going to go through this list individually. You can go through it, and if you want to, if if something looks like you need to have notifications from it, you can leave it enabled. Otherwise, you can turn it off, and that will greatly limit the number of notifications you receive in general. And that pretty much takes care of the notification settings. Um, if you found this tip useful. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help other folks find my tips. Thanks a bunch.